this this game, even the rivalry aside, has so much riding on it with, you know, you've got Michigan and Ohio State are both essentially the winner of this game is going to have a very clear path to the playoff. Uh, the winner of this game is going to is going to be the representative in the Big Ten East. So you're talking about a, a division championship and, and being able to play for the conference championship. Um, you know, and, and like I said, it's 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 a simp- essentially a, a, a playoff game. It's, it, it's what we're going to watch um, is, you know, two teams ranked both in the top six in the, the CFP and they're I'm sorry, top five. But, um, you know, the winner is going to be able to 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 cruise right in and and they will have a very comfortable spot as long as they, you know, win the, the Big Ten Conference that, uh, you know, you control your own destiny. And with Michigan having the loss to MSU, you know, a couple of weeks ago, you know, you, you put yourself kind of in a, in a bad spot when you did kind of lose that ability to control your own destiny. And, you know, things just kind of work out the way that they did with, with MSU losing to Purdue and, and um, getting throttled by Ohio state last week. And, you know, now you, you get the ability to just win and you're in, you know, essentially. So it definitely adds more to, the rivalry more to the game, more to the pressure. You know, I, I, I know for Ryan day, he of course always wants to beat Michigan, but you know, on the flip side for, for Harbaugh still, you know, has yet to get that win against the big rival. And um, you know, when it comes to being a Michigan head football coach, you know, that's part of the deal. It's, it's, you know, it's winning football games and it's, it's, you know, packing out the stadium, but it's also beating Ohio state. And that's one of the things that, has uh, has a you know he hasn't been able to do yet you know he hasn't checked off on the on the resume and um, he's got a great opportunity you know to do it and I think if he's able to do it this year that um, I mean it 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 will be I, I think it, it won't erase the the past history of, of since he's been at Michigan but it'll do a lot when it comes to just the goodwill and being able to break through of uh, getting his team to Indianapolis beating Ohio State. You know, and not and not beating an Ohio State team that was, you know, having a bad year, having a down year. I mean, we saw a historic performance from Ohio State just a week ago. So to be able to do those things, I, I think it would be it'd be a heck of an accomplishment. And and based on what Ohio State looked like the last time we saw them, uh, it, it would be it would be incredible. I, I, I think it would be I, nothing short of incredible. Yeah, like you say, it doesn't uh, erase past failures against Ohio State, but I, I think very much um, in line with everything else that you said, with Michigan uh, having a shot at a championship, denying Ohio State of a championship, uh, that that it would almost hit the reset button for Harbaugh, you know, um, that that it would almost be a a, a second second tenure at Michigan in a sense that, uh, you know, all would past would be forgotten to a certain extent to say, okay, well he did it and he's moved this program now to a, a different level, a new level. They are playing for the big 10 championship. They got through Ohio state and it was a number two team in the country, Ohio state. And so the, the past can be forgiven and, you know, maybe we'll take off from here. But they got to get through 60 minutes against Ohio State before they can say that. <laughs> yep, it's it's like it's it's one of those things that uh, you know you you hear about it like for instance with like a Kirby Smart and like a Lincoln Riley to where you know because they haven't won a national championship yet like people just make the comment of well they can't do it like it you know they they just can't win a championship. And it's just one of those things that you know with the same thing with with Jim Harbaugh and Ohio State. It's like well he just can't beat Ohio State like. He, people are going to say you can't do it until you actually do it and, and break through. So it's, it's, I, I think number one, it's going to be a tall task, but this is a different year with, with Michigan because I, I feel, pro- I mean, probably since the 2018, you know, season, um, you know, probably even 2016 to where I felt like Michigan had, you know, wasn't just clearly undermanned. I think, I think if you're looking at both of the rosters, I, you know, Ohio State has more five-star guys than Michigan does. It, it you know, just kind of an is-what-it-is thing. But uh, nonetheless, I, I think Michigan has 
a lot of good players, you know, on their team on both sides of the ball. So I don't think it's something where, you know, Michigan has to bank on playing an A plus perfect game and assuming and, and hoping that Ohio State plays a C plus game. Like I, I think that both of these teams playing, you know, the a great football game, like their caliber of football. I think it's probably going to be close to, you know, what the spread is like a, a, essentially a one possession game. So I, I think Michigan is a, is a different caliber of team than what, you know, in the last probably, you know, five, six years that they have been. Um, and, you know, I, I think Jim Harbaugh deserves some credit in that, in that regard of, you know, continuously bringing in guys that are, you know, can play football at a high level uh, guys with high football IQ you know, guys that that fit what they want to do and um, and also developing the, the leaders on this team that they that they've done. Um, you know, we we talk at, at really every every Wednesday, you know, we're here and I talk about how the Michigan team, you know, how they come out every single every week. It's been very consistent that the leaders and the coaching staff has made sure that they've come out with the proper amount of energy and focus, you know, week in and week out. And that's important, you know, and, and you'd like to think that that trend will continue, you know, against Ohio state, because I do think that'll be an extremely important to make sure you do come out, you know, with energy and you're executing at a high level, because as we saw last week with, with, you know, Ohio state and Michigan state, that if you fall asleep, you know, and in, in you're sluggish early on, you know, Ohio State can can put up four touchdowns in in four drives. Like they're they're that explosive on offense, and especially when they're clicking. So they've they've just done a they've done a really good job of coming out. You know, uh, uh, just focused, coming out with with energy, and uh, and and really executing at a high level early on. And and uh, I think this game probably more than than any other outside of the Michigan State game will be absolutely critical. That that the guys come out focused. And just ready to rock from from the moment that you know the ball's kicked off. 